Jesus Good News TV. Stay connected to remain informed. After 430 years of slavery in Egypt, the Israelites were led out of bondage by Moses, who, under God's command, confronted Pharaoh with a series of plagues. These plagues forced Pharaoh to release the Israelites. However, once they left, Pharaoh changed his mind and pursued them with his army. God's Instructions Exodus 14 verses 15 to 18 Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. Raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they will go in after them. And I will gain glory through Pharaoh and all his army, through his chariots and his horsemen. The Egyptians will know that I am the Lord when I gain glory through Pharaoh, his chariots and his horsemen. In these verses, God provides Moses with specific instructions that are crucial for the deliverance of the Israelites. Let's explore this passage in detail. Divine Command and Assurance God instructs Moses to stop praying and take action, emphasizing the importance of faith and obedience. The Israelites are commanded to advance, trusting in God's plan despite the daunting obstacle of the sea. Subscribe and share for more of these divine contexts coming your way for God's glory. The role of Moses. Moses, symbolizing God's authority, is directed to perform a miraculous act by raising his staff to divide the waters. This extraordinary command demonstrates the necessity of following God's instructions with unwavering faith. Assurance of God's plan. God assures the Israelites of a safe passage through the sea on dry ground. God predicts Pharaoh's pursuit, setting the stage for his ultimate display of power and justice. Divine purpose and glory. God ensures the Egyptians' pursuit to demonstrate his power and justice by gardening Pharaoh's heart. The events are orchestrated to reveal God's supremacy and righteousness. The Egyptians will ultimately recognize God's sovereignty, underscoring his universal authority. Theological implications. The passage emphasizes trust and obedience in God's plan, even in the face of adversity. God's active involvement highlights his care and commitment to his people. Challenges serve a greater divine purpose, showcasing God's power and justice. The Angel of God. In Exodus 14 verses 19 to 20, the Angel of God, previously leading the Israelites, moved behind them, with the pillar of cloud standing between the armies of Egypt and Israel. Throughout the night, the cloud brought darkness to the Egyptians and light to the Israelites, preventing any interaction between the two groups. This symbolizes divine intervention and protection, ensuring the Israelites' safety while hindering the Egyptians' advance. Parting the Red Sea Exodus 14 verses 21 to 22 Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and all that night the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind and turned it into dry land. The waters were divided, and the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground, with a wall of water on their right and on their left. Detailed Account and Interpretation 1. Moses' Action Moses, following God's instruction, stretched out his hand over the sea. This act of stretching out his hand is a significant gesture of faith and obedience. It is a visible sign that Moses is acting under God's command, preparing to perform a miraculous act. 2. Divine Intervention The Strong East Wind The text explicitly mentions that the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind that blew all night. This wind is described as having the power to part the waters and create dry land. In biblical literature, the wind often symbolizes God's breath or spirit, Hebrew, ruach, which can be seen as an active force in nature and history. 3. Creation of dry land. The wind's effect was to turn the sea into dry land, an act reminiscent of the creation narrative where God separates the waters to reveal the dry land. Genesis 1 verses 9 to 10. This allusion to creation signifies a new beginning for the Israelites, who are about to transition from slavery to freedom. 4. The division of waters. The waters were divided, forming a wall on either side. This imagery is striking and dramatic, emphasizing the miraculous nature of the event. 
The description of walls of water suggests not just a shallow parting but a deep and wide pathway that could accommodate the entire Israelite population. 5. The Israelites' Passage The Israelites walked through the sea on dry ground. This detail underscores the completeness of the miracle. The ground was not muddy or wet but dry, making their passage easier and more feasible. The dry ground also serves as a sign of God's thorough provision for their escape. Symbolic and theological insights, God's sovereignty and power. The parting of the Red Sea showcases God's dominion over nature, demonstrating his power to deliver his people. Salvation and deliverance. This event symbolizes salvation, transitioning the Israelites from bondage to freedom and despair to hope. New creation. The parting of the sea symbolizes a new beginning for the Israelites, marking their journey towards the promised land. The Egyptian pursuit and destruction. Exodus 14 verses 23 to 31. Pharaoh's pursuit. Pharaoh's army pursued the Israelites into the sea, only to face God's intervention, divine intervention. God threw the Egyptian army into confusion, causing their chariots to malfunction, destruction. At God's command, the waters returned, engulfing Pharaoh's army, showcasing his power. Israelite response. Witnessing this display of power, the Israelites feared the Lord, trusting in him and Moses. They sang and danced in praise of the Lord. This celebration is described in Exodus 15 verses 1 to 2. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord, I will sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. Both horse and driver he has hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. In Exodus 15 verse 20, Miriam and the women continued the celebration by singing, Sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. Both horse and driver he has hurled into the sea. This celebration marked their gratitude and recognition of God's miraculous deliverance. God bless you.